Within sight of the flag, there's nothing in it. And at the line, it's Sheen, who just wins by a hair's breadth tenth of a second. What a fantastic victory this has been for Barry Sheen, chalking up his third 500cc Grand Prix win in succession, giving him a huge 23-point lead in the World Championship Series. Laden with trophies, He'll have to put up some more shells at home, unless he plans on going into the scrap metal business. How about Ricard as a challenge? As a challenge? Oh, I, I like Ricard. I think it's a nice circuit, really, really good circuit. A lot of Formula One testing here. Some of the riders said that the circuit is very bumpy now. Oh, yeah, it is exceptionally bumpy. But it's, that's not too bad. You know, that's not, that's not the main problem. It makes you get your backside in gear and sort your handling out, doesn't it? But um, the big problem is the, the uh, speed on the main straight. Obviously tomorrow, Barry, you're going to hope for rain and the, it is overcast now. That's your only hope, really, of finishing the top three, isn't it? Oh, yeah, really. There's no, ch no chance. I've got more chance of being punched in the face by the Pope than getting, <laughs> than, um, getting in the first three as, this is, as it is now. No chance whatsoever. Leading privateer Barry Sheen, sixth fastest. Was he happy? Well, yeah, I suppose you've got to look at things logically, and there's all factory bikes in front of me, apart from Didier de Radigues, um, whose bike's not a factory one, but Ferrari's behind me on the factory ammo. It's the best, really, you can hope for. You must have been very pleased with your fifth place last week. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was. You know, um, it's better than a slap in the face with a wet fish. Robert, does foe pick my fags up off the floor? Yeah, I was quite happy with it. And would you prefer a wet race here on that show? Oh, you bet your bloody life, really, without any doubt. It was, in the thing at Rickard, it, it started to rain at the end, but that didn't make an awful lot of difference because what I was doing was just staying behind, you know, staying behind, because there was no, I didn't, the Hondas were quicker down the straight, and all I was doing was getting the toe down the straight and going to have a go on the last lap. But then it started to rain, it made life even easier. Barry, what's the difference in power between your Suzuki and the works Hondas and Yamahas? Well, I would think the works Hondas and Yamahas are putting out between 140 and 145 horsepower, and that thing there, we ran it on the test bench two weeks ago, it was pulling out 123. And with that kind of power, it wouldn't pull a Boy Scout off your granny. Well, nobody can say that uh, Barry Sheen doesn't talk very candidly. <laughs> <laughs>